Show that the equation 3 cos squared theta equals sine theta plus 1 can be written as 3 sine squared theta plus sine theta minus 2 equals 0. Solve this equation to find values of theta in the range of theta between 0 and 360 degrees that satisfy 3 cos squared theta equals sine theta plus 1. OK, I've paraphrased the question here then. So, part 1. So here, 3. Cos squared we can replace by 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to sine theta plus 1. OK, so we've got 3 minus 3 sine squared theta is equal to sine theta plus 1 then, just expanded the bracket. Now move everything over to the right hand side, so we get 3 sine squared when it's moved over, plus the sine theta that's already there. And then move the 3 over to minus 3. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. There's nothing left on this side. So it equals 0. So I've written it down from right to left. So to speak. So that's the quadratic. Then solve this equation. So 3 sine theta. Let's have a look at this. It's got to be 3 sine theta and sine theta. It has to be 2 and 1. 2 1 to 2. And I think that that's the way around it should be, isn't it? Equals 0. This is a plus, so the bigger one should be a plus, the smaller one should be a minus, so to speak. So let's just check that, 3 sine squared. There's our 3 sine theta, the bigger. Take away 2 to sine theta, the smaller, which will give the sine theta. Minus times plus is a minus 2, 1 is a 2. So that tells us then that sine uh, theta is equal to 2 thirds, or sine theta equals minus 1. So we're solving between 0 and 360, so let's have a look at these. Uh, sine theta equals 2 thirds. Sine is positive, right cast. Sine is positive here and here, so draw two lines. Mark off the alpha, which is the associated acute angle, and simply write sine alpha and drop the negative if there is one to drop. Alpha is shift sine two thirds. Okay, so the answer then. Let's tap that in a calculator. So I've got degrees mode, so it's shift sine of two thirds, two divided by three, close that. Forty one point eight one. Forty one point eight one degrees. degrees. So theta then, the first solution is round to here. 41.81. Uh, and the next solution for theta would be around to here, wouldn't it? 180 minus the 41.81, which is 138.19 degrees. And that's both to two decimal places. Now let's look at the other uh, question then. So let's look at the next one. Over here. Should be a bit easier. C-A-S-T. Okay, sine is negative. Sine is positive here and here, so it's negative there and there. So we mark off alpha in these cases. And we simply write sine alpha. And we drop the negative if there is one to drop. That tells us that alpha is 90 degrees. We know that because sine alpha, sine of 90 is 1. So that tells us then the first solution is round to here, which is 180 plus 90, 270 degrees. And the other solution is round to here, which is round to 360 back 90, which is also 270. So Either way, the solution here is 270 degrees, and these two solutions as well. Okay then, so IE, just summarising it, theta is equal to 41.8 degrees then, and 138.2 degrees, and 270.0 degrees, and that would be to one decimal place then, wouldn't it? That's our final answer all three solutions.